Hey guys, what's up? Steven here with Pearl Lemon Games and we're back to another UI creation tutorial in Roblox. So on this tutorial, I'm going to teach you on how to use the UI padding. This is mostly used in inventories or some other stuff that you have a children of the parent of and children and a parent of a frame and I'm going to teach you how it works. So we have here a frame which is kind of our main frame and just a sample uh, image or a sample frame so I could explain how the UI padding works. So let's start. So first off, uh, just how you add stuff in Roblox, you can press that plus button on where you want it to add and add the UI padding. It can also be up here but for the sake of the video and explaining how it works, we're gonna make it make the frame parent and the A which is a text label its children so let's start so uh, after I add the UI padding we have properties here which is padding bottom padding left padding right padding top it's kind of straightforward and I'll show you how it works so we're just going to make it on the scale but if you want to make it offset uh, it's up to you to like adjust where it you want it to offset uh, we've discussed offset on a separate video so if you you're not sure what it do or what it does on the UI check it out you can check that out on the link down below but on this video to better explain the UI padding I'm gonna focus on the scale part so what the UI padding do is if you notice we have this frame and on the middle is the text label and if I add a padding on the bottom it's gonna indent on the bottom so let's try it out point one it's indenting on the bottom and it's pushing it forward making that indent on the bottom but it's not going above above or left or right for the space of the text label so basically the text label is adjusting on the parents padding or we can say parents indention so that could, I could say the same on the left point one notice that it's not going to the right and if I add it on the right it would still have that indention on the left and same with padding on the top it would still have that indention on the top making it more into the middle and whatever I add there should have the padding uh, if I add UI list there it's also gonna have that padding unless you move it uh, unless you move this pace of it so notice that the position is 0.5.5 .5, and even if it has in indention on it it's still gonna move it y you would have this much on the position because you moved it so this is mostly used for UI list and if you just simply want to adjust the UI frame you can just add this padding and this would stay even if you're you go on mobile so it's the best thing you got to do the uh, if you want to center stuff up in the UI paddings I hope you learned something on this video and if you have any other stuff you want to comment comment down below or you want to ask comment down below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you find this video videos all good catch you on the next video